G'day everyone, it's James here from Dark Arts Lock Picking. Hope you're doing well. Pixelbox done some hacking, but as always, keep it bloody legal and I'm getting a phone call. One sec. Sorry about that. When you're working maintenance and you get job calls because I'm carrying the maintenance phone as well. Since I'm replacing the maintenance guy for the month. Um, anyway, so I've got a prototype here that I'm playing with. Uh, just did a video which will be after this one. You'll get to go and see it. Um, and I might do a little bit of outro bit as well. Uh, so, the Flipper Zero. I have been loving this thing. Now, it is a jack of all trades and a master of none, like I've said before. It's like, you know, it's a multi-tool, and it's great. It does a lot of really cool stuff. Don't get me bloody wrong. But, I mean, as I said before, it's not like the be-all, end-all. So, you know, it can do RFID. I can do quick duplicates onto some blank cards, which is a good little tip if you have a Flipper Zero. Carry, carry a couple of blank cards in your wallet. Then I carry a couple in my business wallet and a couple of little tags on me. Just in case I need to do a quick little copy of a RFID tag for a customer. But, you know, is it got all the functionality of a Proxmart 3? No. Can it do all the stuff that Proxmart 3 can do? No. Is it as good as RFID stuff as a Proxmart 3? Or Proxmart 4, I should say, either? No, it's not. I'll be honest. But it can do it good enough. Like, it can do it pretty well. But it's not as good. So... One of the fun things with this is it can hack radio frequency devices like I've showed you in the previous video where we attacked or duplicated the signal for this doorbell and replayed it. So I've been making, I've just made one and once I'll get a case all organised for it and get it all 3D printed and then order in some more stock so I can actually put them together and make some to sell off the website, fingers crossed, hopefully. I created a little external antenna. So the Flipper Zero has a built-in radio frequency antenna. These ones here are designed for the 433.92 megahertz, which is what most of your stuff runs on. It's either that or 3... 319, I think it is. I can't remember off the top of my head now. I've had a mental blank. Um, but 433.92. Right, so these little ones here run off that. And the doorbell and stuff like that, a lot of the devices here will run off that frequency. But this has, because it has a built-in antenna and built-in range, it's not going to transmit very, very far. We just tested it out on a football oval, which you'll see in the video. So this will actually transmit a couple of meters further than the actual button on the remote for the doorbell itself, which isn't, you know, it's the length, about the length of a football field is how far away this thing will transmit in an open straight line of sight. Now, with the external antenna for the Flipper Zero, which hopefully I will be able to get in stock so it looks nice and neat and it's literally just going to be a plug in the top and play ready to go uh won't look like this this is the prototype version i'm working on um this will transmit well past that i actually lost sight of aiden like he went for a walk with it um with the doorbell <laughs> and i lost sight of him and he stopped because I stopped ringing the doorbell. Um, it would have transmitted further, but he couldn't go any further. And I stopped transmitting because I couldn't see him. I lost sight of him. That's how far it will go. So with a really good antenna, if you got a properly tuned antenna, and I mean, if you actually connected one such as this here, for example, it's going to look ridiculous on a flipper, trust me. But if you took a 430 megahertz dual band handheld antenna, like one about this long, for example, you could probably get close to 600 meters transmitting, which, you know, for a doorbell is a long way to do a ding-dong ditch. Like, you can get a pretty good bloody ding-dong ditch going from that far away if you copied someone's doorbell when they weren't home, like family members, and then wait right up the other end of the road and then just start ringing their doorbell. You know, it can transmit... A pretty far distance. Um, you know, it'd look ridiculous on something like this, but I mean, you know, for that range, it's pretty, pretty cool. So anyway, little video of use of me showing you how far I actually get transmitted in the video. And uh, yeah, 
Let us know in the comments below if you would be if you have a Flipper Zero, would you be interested in one of them antennas, the external ones that I'm working on? One of these I've had quite a lot of interest on Instagram for it. So let us know in the comments down below. Check out the video after this one. Don't forget to make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed. And hit the thumbs up because I really do bloody appreciate it. And yeah, have some fun. Remember to keep it bloody illegal. Hack the planet. And until next time, cheers guys. Alright, so I've got a wireless doorbell. Pretty big distance to cover. Flipper. External antenna. And the remote which will... Go. So if you want to walk out, keep walking out onto the oval. I'll press this. Then when this stops, the remote will test the flipper to see if it will ring it. And once the flipper stops, then we'll plug in the external antenna and see if that will go even further. Okay. All right. So go for a walk. You guys will have to tell me if the uh, when the button stops working. Not working? Not still is, I can hear it. That's for the remote. <laughs> is that still going? <laughs> Jeez. So it's not working? It's not working. No, it is. Nothing? Right, let's... That's pretty far distance. So we'll go the flipper. Anything? Nothing with the flipper? Right, I'll plug in the external antenna. All right, so I've got the external antenna plugged in, the, the prototype version I'm making, and I've selected external antenna. Yep, and we'll go up to the doorbell, and we will send that signal, and it's ringing, so as you can see, go back further for ringing! Walk further! So as you can see, with the external antenna, you can get further than where the actual flipper will transmit to. Like he is right past the other side of the football oval. <laughs> and still walking. Can't even see him now. Uh, I can just barely see white. Let's see if I can zoom in. Just see the white. That zoomed into the maximum. We'll try again. It's sending. And I've lost him. I can just hear the doorbell, kinda. Or it might just be in my head. But as you can see, he is gone. So with the 
built in or an external radio frequency antenna for 423.92 megahertz. You can actually transmit quite a long bloody way. Now I better go find him because he has disappeared. <laughs> So, external antennas for the win, if you want to really boost your range, as long as you've got like open areas. But uh, let's go for a walk from here and uh, see just how far away he actually is. We'll do it one more time just to make him walk a little bit further if he is. Going further. Right, let's go for a walk. So we're like right over here. So the doorbell itself stopped working, the actual remote for the doorbell stopped kind of just half or just the other side of the oval here. Not the full oval length. Um, probably where that magpie is just here. The flipper itself went a little bit further than the actual remote itself. Um, the doorbell button, which isn't, you know, it isn't much more distance. Um, but the external antenna for the sub gigahertz that I'm building and possibly going to actually, once I get a case all built up and have these to sell off the website. So the other remote stopped here. Now we were in that pole, which as you can see is, you know, semi-decent field away. And he's back. Where'd you get to? Huh? Where did you get to? I stopped ringing it. Because I lost sight of you. Oh, yeah, I made it all the way down to the... So all the way down the other side of the oval. Right down. I left the stick in there. area. And that, that... I stopped ringing it, so you probably would have gone further. If I... No, because I stopped ringing when I got to here. Yeah, I stopped ringing and pressing the doorbell. I stopped pressing the uh, button on the flipper. No, I got down to there, and then it stopped. Yeah, because I stopped pressing it because I couldn't see you. That's why it stopped. Probably could have went further. Yeah, it would have gone further. Let's see. Still. And that's why I stopped ringing. Yeah, because I couldn't go any further. Yeah, it probably would have gone further as well. That's not too bad, like, compared to, to the standard antenna, built-in antenna and the flipper, with a external one like this one that I'm making. That's not too bloody bad, and that's only with a short antenna. If you put a longer antenna on it, the actual antenna itself, and it's tuned properly, you could get 700 odd meters, I reckon. 600 meters. So that's not bad. We'll head back. Oh, it's a little warm.